For the first time after defeat, incumbent U.S. President Donald Trump acknowledged that his rival Joe Biden won the White House, but Trump also reiterated his unsubstantiated claims that the vote was rigged. Trump's statements come in tweets that included several baseless claims about the November 3rd vote. The election was declared as safe and secure by the state and federal government. Without using Biden's name, Trump tweeted that he won. That's something Trump had not said before publicly. Trump also tweeted that Biden won because the election was rigged and so he is still hell-bent on not conceding. Now, Trump made clear that he would keep trying to overturn the election result. He also said that the Democrats' victory was only in the eyes of the media. Trump also declared himself as the winner of the election. Trump's Twitter tirades show the extent of how much the present administration is willing to contest the result, which saw them lose after only one term. Another tweet read, those responsible for safeguarding of our constitution cannot allow the fake results of the 2020 million election to stand. The world is watching. Both the tweets have been labelled by Trump since the Trump's election fraud claims are disputed. Now the series of tweets by Trump goes on as in his recent tweet he said, why does the fake news media continuously assume that Joe Biden will ascend to presidency? not allowing our side to show which we are just getting ready to do. Now, how badly shattered and violated our great constitution has been in the 2020 election, it was attacked. Now, Biden defeated Trump by winning back a trio of battleground states, that is Michigan, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, and topped the 270 electoral vote threshold to clinch the presidency. Following the slew of tweets headed for his golf club in Sterling, Virginia, Post the election results, the U.S. president has also stalled the government's normal process of preparing for a new presidential administration. Trump's campaign team and Republicans have also sought to press their case in court in key battleground states but have been widely rejected. Now, as after tens of thousands of Trump supporters ventured into Washington, violence broke out when Trump supporters clashed with Black Lives Matter protesters. One person was reportedly stabbed and taken into a trauma center. At least 20 arrests were also made. Meanwhile, Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris have moved forward with their transition efforts, including briefings on COVID-19 outbreak. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden's incoming Chief of Staff, Ron Klain, has also said that the federal government needs to sign off on transition team efforts this week so that Biden's team can receive national security briefings and address COVID-19. He also said that Trump's tweet on not conceding had no bearing on the actuality of the election. Now, earlier we spoke to our correspondent Jagrati Dave from Washington, D.C. Let's listen in. The networks picked up on that tweet saying Joe Biden won, um, and he continued, though the president continued to talk about the rigged election. Um, and as you say, it's the closest that Donald Trump seems to have got to accepting that uh, Joe Biden has won the election. But he quickly uh, tweeted out again that he will not concede once all the networks had, um, you know, latched onto this uh, tweet of his. And you know, he, the president is launching, continuing to launch several lawsuits. You were talking about by his um, uh, supporters who had taken to Washington, D.C., this idea that the election was rigged, even though there is no evidence of why fraud at all um, in this election. Um, it has caught on with many of the president's supporters who took to the streets of Washington, D.C., um, you know, repeating that message. I think there are a lot of people who think that President Trump's aim isn't to, you know, remain in the White House, lock himself up and be dragged, kicking and screaming. The aim is to, um, you know, he will leave, is what a lot of people are saying. But what he's doing is sowing um, the seeds of doubt um, in people's minds, in his supporters' minds, and um, essentially um, uh, making it challenging um, for the next administration, again, sowing the seeds of doubt in his supporters' mind about the credibility of the Biden-Harris administration when they do take over um, after January the 20th, which is the inauguration.